Hi everybody. My mom's birthday is coming up. In fact, if memory serves, which it probably doesn't, you should be watching this on my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mom. Everybody say happy birthday, mom. And wave your hands real. Ah. Ah, every time I try to do something, I forget that I'm broken all over. So I'm making a banner with well, they call this felt garland, which I guess it is. This is from the Dollar Tree. I got this a while ago. They had one. Like, just one. I mean, I had seen it online, but they only had one in my store, and I haven't looked to see if there was another one. This is really stiff felt, which I like. See what I'm doing? I'm putting all my crap over there. I'm throwing it away. And I can't throw it away because I'm not near the garbage can. Okay. So, it's seven pieces. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. So what I'm going to do is seven is not enough to spell much of anything that I can think of that would have to do with the birthday, except for happy. And that leaves two left over. And I can either take two off, like take off the red and the pink and then have those in the middle, but I'm going to use all of them. I measured and these are like four inches by, what are they, like four by one, two, three, yeah, they're like four by five but I didn't want to cut out my letters that spell happy any bigger than like three and a half, just to be on the safe side. So I cut them out of my Cricut. The project file is um, down below. Okay, that doesn't want to come off. This is velvet cardstock. Uh, I just cut it on the heavy cardstock setting. Let me actually go like this and see if that does. Mm. <laughs> I cut it on the heavy cardstock setting with more pressure, but clearly, oh, it's not cutting, it's because there's a, um, a sticker right there. So, you know, take this sticker off before you cut, and this should come out a lot easier. I don't know why that one spot was sticking, but that's okay, it'll be in the back, we won't see it. So I have some stars, and I spelled out happy with the same font I use for everything. It's called Uni-something. Uni it's like a big, nice, bold font. I use it in all my thumbnails. I use it in, I'll say use it. I use it mostly in thumbnails because it's the only thing I've ever really seen to be doing anymore. But if I was, you know, making something else, I would use that just because it's, it's nice, it's clear, it's sharp, it's bold. Okay, so I always have a problem with felt because it seems like every time I glue something to it, it just does not want to glue. But this is really stiff, and this is paper. It's not like I'm gluing felt to felt or pipe cleaners to felt or something. So I'm going to attempt this. So I'm going to have happy, and then the two stars on the end. And I had picked black because I had black velvet cardstock. I couldn't get white. I didn't want to use regular paper. I couldn't find like a glittery white that wasn't iridescent, so I just went with black. It's nice and neutral, and we'll see what happens. I think what I am going to do is I'm going to put glue all over the back of this. Maybe. Holy crap, that's hard to squeeze. glue all over and then I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue in the middle just to hold it down I'm gonna try to center it on here because it's centered on my mat right now so that looks like a communist thing is that a communist thing oh god so somebody on the comments will scream at me if it is if you're offended by that, I'm sorry. Is it a China thing? I don't know. Mm. Should have got the glitter paper. All right. I, I don't know why I have such trouble. It would, it would seem like Elmer's glue would be like the 
you know, like just white glue would be like the preferred method for putting anything together with felt because like felt such like a, you know, like a kid craft that you would think it would be easier to glue, but it's not. is bright, huh? Wow. I try to just... I mean, I at least know this is gonna hold. I'm just trying to make sure that this is centered with the letter and that there is about the same amount of gap at the top. And I mean, I would like this to be completely glued down, but honestly, how much wear and tear is this banner gonna go through? You know, just, if there's a hurricane, bring it in. But if anybody has any suggestions for, uh, you know, gluing things to felt, I am all ears, because hot glue is so far the only thing I've found that works. So my mom's birthday is on the 10th. It is the, I think it's the 30th right now, because I have some salads that I need to eat today because I go bad today and I'm like well I guess I'm having salad for uh after breakfast lunch post lunch dinner and after dinner which I'm mad at it I like salad just kind of wish I hadn't remembered they were in there this is cute I kind of like this the black I mean I think it would be just as nice as with the white um, I was kind of worried about the purple, but it's not as dark as I thought it was. And I got new neighbors. Um, don't know how they're going to work out yet. I'm optimistic. Just because they're older and they probably don't listen to much rap music. Extremely loud all hours of the night. But I think they have a dog, which I don't like just because my dog can't get along with somebody even if it's on the other side of the fence but we'll see I'm, I'm optimistic I just want to measure like see how high that is go to the other one so all in all I mean the bear ow nozzle right on my finger good grief holy moly Um, what was I saying? Oh, so the banner was a dollar. I'm going to use some pom-poms there, two dollars. I think I got them on, I'm assuming I got them on sale or clearance. Um, and Dollar Tree sometimes has, yeah, I'm just going to go back and add some more glue on these. Dollar Tree sometimes has pom-poms. I mean, if you didn't want, if you didn't care about the color, you could definitely get them from there because I know they have them, but... If you want a specific color, you know, you might have to go to Michael's or Walmart or something. But these are, what size are these? These are half inch. That's half an inch. It's really small for half an inch. Yeah, okay. So everything's hot glued down now. That's the way to go. I like that it's velvet. Okay. Wow, it's like pride came early. So these are like four, four by four and a quarter, quarter. So I want to put, see how I'm going to do this. I'm not covering up the hole completely. In here. A little bit more than that. And then here. 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 Just to dress this up a little bit. Oh. Uh, 
nice to make like a nice little happy thing. And you could go, there's 125 in this pack, so you can use up to 16 per little banner. The one that had the most glue on it is like the one that's not having it. It's like, no. You could do like 16 per banner if you wanted to. I was going to go down the sides, but maybe I kind of like it at the top. brought these stars down more. So I really need a happy, happy project to work on here. Something bright and colorful because I'm about to go full-fledged into my Christmas in July or week, which I mean that's gonna have, you know, it's not gonna be like somber or anything, but y'all, my family has been through it the past um, week. My grandma died on Thursday. Her funeral was Tuesday. That covers two weeks, and then uh, got some more bad news Saturday, and it's just like. Okay, like give us give us a break. Like the grandma was enough. So I have been less productive than I would like, but I'm excited about doing Christmas in July. I think it's going to be really cool and today's Sunday and bridal week starts tomorrow. I keep saying that like it's a real thing, like shark week, but um, yeah, I'm excited about that. There's a, some good videos, some ambitious videos, but not like hard stuff. Just some little, little things that might help you. Lots of advice, just kind of spread throughout the whole week because you know i start talking and i'm like well let me tell you about these terrible brides that wanted spray painted roses which y'all have already seen by this point so what did you think and i don't know if i mentioned but i'm uh I'm using the the marks on the. I mean, I'm sure you, you're like, oh, why you're explaining that to us? We get it. But I'm using the um, the marks on the mat to space these out evenly. My neighbors also that just moved in. I just looked outside and there's like a looks like a homemade fire pit in the middle of the yard. But it's awfully close to my shed, and I'm like, hmm, we're gonna have, are y'all fire people? Because, um, first of all, cool, I guess, like, can you hand some s'mores? No, I can't eat s'mores. Um, I wouldn't eat s'mores even if I could, but, yeah, I just, I hope they're not, like, outdoors people, because my dog, I mean, he has enough trouble with the idiots behind me always making noise and he's like oh I can't pay uh there's too much noise going on so I'll just wait outside and then when I come in I'll pee on the floor and I'm like no don't stop doing it but if he's distracted he's not smart enough to you know pee and not be distracted so this came with some baker's twine which is actually kind of nice and well we'll see if it's actually nice that I can how to open it. I'm already regretting that I don't have a needle right here. And I have to remember to put this on correctly because last time I, I like, last time I made something, I like started here and then here and the whole thing was backwards. So I'm going to start from the end. And actually, I don't have a needle, but I can make this a little... a little easier to go through. 
Let me cap this off. Okay, so because I have the pom-poms on the front, I'm gonna go through the front and then have the you know the bulk of that go through the back. I thought this was gonna take forever. It's like, oh, you know, it's gonna not take me too long to make everything, but getting the string through there is gonna take ages. But I'm doing it. I have pizza in the oven and I'm starving. It seems like I always have pizza in the oven. I just, like, I go to the grocery store and I get so aggravated with how stupid people are that I'm like, I don't have time to actually look for something to cook. So I'm literally, let me just grab a pizza. I mean, everybody's getting that quarantine 35 anyway, right? Is that what it was? Quarantine 53. And I think if you wanted to, you could also glue, you know, once you get everything on here, you could go back and maybe, you know, put something on here and spell something else on the other side so you have a reversible banner. You could do it. Like, uh, I was talking to my mom and I was like, I don't know if I, like, I was, because I didn't know if I wanted to do stars, if I wanted to do balloons, and I was like, no, I just want, like, a nice graphic solid banner. She's like, you need something to spell that seven words. And I was like, um, no, I'm going to put happy on it. She's like, all right, so this has seven words. And I was like, well, what does that have to do with anything? That would be like like my, me asking my sister and her being like, well, you know, um, raccoon. Is that seven words? <laughs> raccoon is seven letters. And I was like, what, what, what would that have to do with the birthday? But she would be right. Raccoon is seven letters. A-C-O-O-N. All right. All right. That's enough. So I don't know how to count or spell. Raccoons. Like if it was a birthday party for raccoons, if it was International Raccoon Day. I don't know, y'all. I'm not a raccoonologist. I probably should have started in the middle and then attached one on each end, but whatever. Okay, so here's what it would look like. It's not, oh, it's actually pretty even. If I just move these down some more. I mean, you don't want them right next to each other, but let me see. I'm gonna put some glue on here too, just because this does look a little unravely. And let's see. Not right here, just so. I know that the ends are even. I think I might actually just put a little, put a little bit of glue right there and just kind of tuck it up around and hold it. And then on this side, because these ends are even now, so I want to Okay, so now the ends are even, and I mean, you could go back and glue all of these to make them completely even, but I think I can just kind of 
faces and my eye. So there we go. That's cute. <laughs> and I hope it didn't take too long. I mean, I guess I could have glued all the pom poms on first, but yeah, you're basically just gluing stuff to other stuff. And there you go. I mean, that's that's basically what we did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna. When did I, did I start glue hot gluing on the A? I'm just gonna add some more hot glue on here to make sure. Yeah, that's down. So everybody have a, um, you know, happy day. Oh, I don't know why I like rainbow stuff. It just makes me like so, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just like cheerful. It's, it's rainbows of good things. So happy birthday. And this needs to be stuck down. So I will see you guys hmm, Friday. Mom's birthday's on the 10th, which I think is a Wednesday. I know she took off. She's like, I ain't going to work on my birthday. So, maybe we'll go do lunch somewhere and I can give her her present. Which I'm going, getting ready to wrap and I'm going to film a video on how to like wrap a present really nice. So, there we go. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys Friday. Please comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Uh, link to the project file should be in the comments, if I remember, in the description box. And, um, yeah. Bye, guys.